So uh, I first gave um, context of what the European football industry is in terms of revenues and size. There we saw that yeah, European football industries moves about 1% of European um, GDP, which is more, say, than the editorial industry or the air transport industry. So it's, it's a big deal. In fact, revenues of the European football industry are roughly in the same size as the NFL, the NBA and the Major League Baseball put together. So quite a big uh, sporting industry. Um, these revenues are, are mainly derived from the national leagues, not from the European tournaments. So uh, European tournaments, while the Champions League itself is, say, the prominent uh, tournament in, in Europe and football, in, in terms of revenues, it's, it's more modest. Uh, it's revenue generation. And this is where the Super League um, um, project comes in, uh, which proposes to um, innovate on the, on the existing um, club uh, tournament, uh, European club tournament. And how it does that is, is in two ways, basically more selective in terms of the teams that play. So we go from around 32 to 20 teams playing in this tournament compared to the Champions League. And also, you'd have more games. So the Champions League has a hundred, approximately 125 uh, games, where in this Super League project, you'd have close to 190 games. So uh, better teams playing more games, and that basically uh, generates more revenue. How much more revenue is what we, we've, we've estimated uh, for in work we've done for A22. And basically, we found that there's a relationship uh, between the number of fans in terms of followers in Facebook that a team has and its uh, broadcasting uh, revenue uh, generation potential. Uh, our finding is that roughly an increase of 1% in your um, Facebook followers uh, translates into an increase of about 0.5% in terms of your um, broadcasting revenues. So basically if you combine these um, better better, these uh, more prestigious teams, these teams with more followers uh, playing together uh, more frequently, uh, your revenue generation with respect to the current UEFA tournaments would more than double. That's our, our main result. And the teams most benefiting from this would be the founders, the, the teams directly playing in the, in the Super League, but also other teams would benefit because they'd have more, they'd, ha they'd have freed up slots in the Champions League and in the Europa League uh, because teams would say move up um, because part of the teams that always play the, the, the Champions League would now be playing uh, a different league and we find that although there's winners and losers among the teams uh, most teams benefit overall in terms of a greater amount of revenue and finally we looked at solidarity and we found that given the pledge of the Euro League um, sorry the Euro uh, the Super League project um, to give 8% of their uh, revenues to solidarity, this would increase the amount of solidarity uh, with respect to what UEFA is now uh, providing. And that's basically the, the end of my talk.